I'm going to winterize the Coleman Lantern 17B before I haul it back over to the storage lot. It just came back from a rental. Um, so it's going to start getting colder at night, higher risk of um, damaged plumbing. So I am going to winterize. First thing I'm gonna do is take out the low point drains. These are on the very rear. Open up the fresh tank, make sure there's nothing in there. Let's get back. Okay, so the drain for the fresh tank is on the driver's side up towards the front. does not appear that there's any water. So we are going to work on just actually winterizing it now at this point. Next step is gonna release the pressure from the water heater and take the rod out. So you bring the flap down. Up here, you release this. And then we're gonna take that rod out at the bottom, which is a one and 16th socket to do that. So I'm gonna take the rod out now. Inspect the rod, see how the rod is doing. It's gonna release all the water out of there. So there's pitting, but there's still quite a bit of rod left. So this is no way ready to be uh, replaced yet. But the water tank just empty. This is all the water you want to take out of the water heater uh, so it doesn't freeze and damage your unit. Next thing we're going to do is open up the two access panels. You've got an access panel in the corner there and an access panel underneath the refrigerator. The one we're going to do first is that one that's um, under the bed. So you just flip this over and it gives you enough space to get back in there and um, take the screws out. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is take these screws out of the access panel so that we can get in there.
Okay, so there's two longer screws here. One, two, two shorter screws. One, two, and then you should be able to get to this. You can see the screws are right here for the access panel. And that is the hose you're looking for. You are going to turn this. And when you turn your water pump on, it's gonna pull from this. And this is what you're gonna put into your um, antifreeze jug. The other thing that you're gonna do is bypass the hot water heater. And you do that from this access panel here. Two screws. One, two. You are going to turn this. And when you turn your water pump on, it's going to pull from this. And this is what you're going to put into your um, antifreeze jug. The other thing that you're going to do is bypass the hot water heater. You can do that from this access panel here. One, two. The reason you're bypassing the hot water heater is because you do not want to fill your water heater with antifreeze. It's a five, six gallon tank and you would have to use that much to fill it. You already emptied it. So it should be running in line to where whatever water comes, it just goes right through. Now, this is where we start adding antifreeze into the system. And you wanna just put something down there to catch the antifreeze that's gonna start coming out of there. Some type of container. Okay, let's grab our antifreeze and Start there. Okay, so I'm gonna take the end of this tube, run it into the bucket, the bottle, the antifreeze, and I'm gonna turn on the water pump. Just located up here. Uh, no antifreeze has come out yet. You can see that it's all mainly still water. Turn the water pump back on again. Still just water. And bingo. We've got antifreeze and it looks like it's mainly dripping out of the 
cold. So we'll put that back in and make sure that there's antifreeze coming out through the hot water. Okay. Turn this back on. I'm gonna run it just a hair more. Yeah, that's antifreeze, so we'll cap that off. Okay, we've got our low drains done. Okay, those are capped off. We should be able to turn the water pump on and hear it stop after it gets pressurized. Okay, you heard that. It's pressurized. Now we're just gonna open. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with the toilet. And we're going to do the same thing with the shower. Open one. Okay. And that is pink. You should have enough in the traps. and essentially use that whole gallon. Now you just reverse insulation with the access panels and you are done.